So I tried to buy, I tried to eat more chocolate again and it's uh, failed because it's affected my heart again and I feel like it's, uh, my heart is struggling. Uh, there's just, there must be some kind of chemical in that to preserve the fats. But even with the, and this is the uh, unsweetened, um, the, the bars, like the cooking bars. Um, I, I didn't eat a lot of it and, uh, because I, I was, you know, having problems in the past. Um, but still, even after waiting a few months, a number of months, almost a year, maybe, maybe over a year, since the last time I consumed it, I, uh, I still have problems with it, so I'm going to have to toss the rest of that away. I just find it rather frustrating that it, this, this stuff is just really hard on me. It, I mean, they must have some kind of preservative in it. I mean, is it the theom, theombrine or whatever they call it, that uh, phytochemical is supposed to kill dogs? Or is it something else? I mean, I don't know, but it's it's certainly causing problems, and I just gotta stop eating it. Uh, I just I don't understand. I can consume like milk, like the whole milk with all that extra fat, uh, and have no problems. But maybe there is just not a lot of fat in the in the whole milk anyway. I never notice any problems with it, drinking it straight or whatnot. Butter though, butter causes issues, I notice with my heart immediately after consuming it. And it may be that gallbladder issue uh, where my gallbladder is, being, is, is struggling to process the fat. Uh, that means I, I have like a weak liver to, to process fats. That could be... Um, or it could be that chemical, um, one of the two. I'm, uh, I'm not sure, but it's, it's something that I'm just going to have to avoid. But it, yeah, once again, like I mentioned, the powdered um, chocolate with the fat removed still causes problems. So it's, it, I would lean more on uh, maybe a preservative that they use for the chocolate. I mean, how can it sit on store shelves for years? without rotting and without causing <clears throat> digestive issues in, in humans anything that sits on the store shelves is gonna uh, be a struggle to, to deal with so this is just another reminder not to consume the chocolate to throw away the chocolate I have and be done with it it's just I gotta look towards other types of food. In fact, I listened to that Planet Money podcast about chocolate, and it's not even like the same stuff that used to be popular at one time. They're, they're just, uh, they're doing something weird with the chocolate now, and it's just, it, it's lacking the, the flavor that it used to have, the new stuff, to make it commercially viable. They're using like a different kind of uh, process or a product uh, for the chocolate now, so it's <clears throat> it's it's not even the same that it used to be. And I, I don't even know if they sell anywhere uh, like the 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 chocolate the way it used to be. I have to listen to that Planet Money podcast again to to remind myself. <clears throat> it was pretty informative. But I don't know, I just, I, had, I just, I give it too many chances. I decided to give it another chance, and it's, it, once again, it's the, the same result. It's insanity for me, but it's like, when I wait long enough, I feel like if I, if I create a time, time and distance, may, maybe things will be different. Enough, have enough time and distance, but that's just not the case. It's still the same. I still get the same problems, so it's it's time to quit. Uh, I just I don't feel like I could exercise after eating chocolate. It seems like it would cause like a heart attack. I have to like take it easy after eating it.